Chopper 1, be advised, we have a report of three bank robbers on foot westbound on Main Street. Cut them off before they disappear into the Veterans Day Parade. Over. Oh, this is Chopper 1. We're kind of busy. Uh, why can't you get Batman to do it? Over. Uh, well, the Batmobile has lost its wheel. And those jokers got away. Chopper 1, did you copy that? Yeah, we copied. Over. I was ready for an oil change anyway. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey, they're going the other way. Chopper 1, heading eastbound. Over. Oi, what's the problem? I can't figure out the gears. Oh, I can drive a stick, he says. Hey guys, I found a machine gun, but I think the bullets are dummies. Well, that ought to be perfect for you then. Hey, you got us a free last time. Just say it already. Freeze! Oh, gotta go. Yo, hey Polly, get him, you're headed for that other car. Chopper 1, be advised. You are authorized to use Package X. Over. Package X? Really? It's just an armored car. Over. Uh, that's a negative. This is a World War II armored car with a 37mm cannon. Over. Oh. Over. Police, you have 10 seconds to comply or we will use deadly force. Oh crap, what do we do? Nine, eight, seven, Oi, there's an escape hatch down here. Five, four, how the hell is it? Well, those crooks bailed out at the nick of time, but uh, the police have some explaining to do. Like on all my videos, to show you how I put this together, I'm going to take it apart. I'm opening up the side doors that came off a space shuttle kit. And inside are the retractable miniguns that are on a sliding mechanism and they can even point backwards very flexible we're going to start by removing this top rotor assembly there's better ways to do this and that would be less wobbly than what I put together but here's what I did and these are a couple old school jet pieces there's the rear gunner and he faces backwards Pulling off the front of the craft, you can see the pilot inside. There's another view of the guy in the back, and that's what he's looking up at. That's from an early 80s space kit. Here's a view from above of how those gun barrels retract, and then the doors will shut. Here's a view from the side. I use Lego man handlebars to simulate controls. We're going to take off the top and that's what that assembly looks like. I used two corbel pieces to arch behind the pilot's head. I used one of Lego's chassis pieces for the guy to lie in the back. It's naturally scooped out and you can see there's little corner pieces that allow the guns to snuggle into little cubbies guns that snuggle oh well you know what I mean here's the weapons officer pulling the guns out and I'm gonna remove the whole tail section in one piece I don't break it down any farther than this but you can see I mismatched the windows there oops they're both supposed to be smoked the tail itself is centered and you can see this sliding mechanism. I'm going to remove the rear fuselage pieces. I bend them in, but here they are flat. There you can see how the doors are held in. I couldn't find another white piece. You see that gray piece um, right where I'm closing that door. Um, oh well. The skids are a one-piece Lego unit, and you can see some of that chassis piece there, too. That is the spine of the tail and what that mechanism slides back and forth on. Thanks for watching my video and subscribing. The sound effects were courtesy of Zap Splat and Officer Larvel Jones.
Thanks, everybody. Bye. Yo, hey, Paulie. Get him. They're headed for that armored car. Yo, this is Rocky. I don't know why I'm trying to play a policeman. You know what I mean? I'm just going to hit this meat for a while.